In this video we're going to complete example 3 and in this example Sarah purchased a Toyota RAV4 brand new for $32,990. So if it's brand new that means V0 is $32,990. Six years later, so N equals six, she sold her SUV for 10700 And when you sell it, that's your salvage value, which is 10700 Remembering, you could also represent that as V6 if you wanted. What annual percentage rate did the RAV4 depreciate by? So this time we're finding what R equals. So this one's going to be quite a tricky question. Anyway, we'll start by substituting into the equation. So our salvage value was 10,700. V0 is 32,990. We don't know what R is, but we know that N is 6. We're going to have to solve this similar to how we've done the topic on equations. We're going to have to do the same thing to both sides and we're going to have to do opposite operations. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 32,990. I'm going to do that because it's going to cancel out these two. Now, if I bring my calculator up and go 10,700 divided by 32,990, I'm going to get this really nasty decimal. I don't want that. So to avoid that, you can just leave it as a fraction. In fact, we could actually try and simplify the fraction. So 10,700 using the ABC button over 32,990 equals, and we get a simplified version of this fraction. So we can write it as 1,070 over 3,299. This is going to equal 1 minus r to the power of 6. What are we going to do here? Well, what is the opposite of putting something to the power of 6? It's to use the 6th root button. Okay, So we're going to find the 6th root of both sides. The reason we're doing that is because the 6th root symbol is going to get rid of the 6 or the power of 6, leaving us with just... 1 minus r, which is quite nice and simple. Okay, so where is the sixth root button on this calculator? We can see it here in red above the yx button. It's also where you can see a green a. And to do the sixth root, we're going to type the number six first. Now, this could be different depending on your calculator. And then we're going to go second function yx. And this will give you the sixth root. And I'm going to put it in brackets, and I'm doing the fraction 1070, which I can do as division if I like. 1070 divide 3299, then close the brackets. We get this nasty decimal, 0 0.82 something. I'm going to round this to two decimal places, and you'll soon see why. So we'll round it to 0 0.83. 0 0.83. Okay, now where to from here? What we're actually going to do is we're going to do something that we don't normally do. We're going to add R to both sides because it's going to get rid of the R, leaving us with 0 0.83 plus R equals 1. And then we're going to subtract the 0 0.83 on both sides to get rid of the 0.83. And this will give us what R equals. 1 minus 0.83 is actually 0 0.17. So it looks like we've finished. Uh, just remembering this is as a decimal, we need to rewrite it as a percentage. So 0 0.17 is the same as 17% or 17% per annum. So our RAV4 has depreciated by 17% per annum. Anyway, that concludes example three. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.